What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Maple Grove, Minnesota yet again, ready to check out another beautiful Stonegate Builder home. This one doesn't have a basketball court, but it's got a fantastic kitchen. So let me get you outside, I'll tell you all about it. All right, so today we're gonna to be walking through the Nakomi. This is an absolutely gorgeous home, finished in the nick of time for the parade, and I am so glad that it was, because wait until y'all see this kitchen. Whew, it is gorgeous. And I love how it just kind of swoops around over to the butler's pantry, just giving it a really unique look. I think it's fantastic. In addition to this home featuring a gorgeous kitchen, it also features five bedrooms, five bathrooms, a three-car garage, and all of that sits inside of approximately 4,689 square feet. When it comes to the price, this home starts at approximately $1,199,000. With that though, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right, here we go. I wasn't even gonna tour this. I didn't even know that this one existed uh, until I got into the last home that I was touring and uh, the agent on duty was telling me that this one was just completed and I walked over here and I was like, ooh, yes, please. But this is your view when you do first walk in. Gorgeous living room. Y'all just wait till you see the kitchen, my goodness. Oh, we see some pretty kitchens and we've seen some, some super, super pretty kitchens. This one's up there. For sure but this is your entryway when you do first walk into the home and then we'll get into it to the right hand side you've got this set of double doors right here that open up into the office space or flex room space just kind of depending on your needs of whatever you want to use this room for Starting to get that evening sun coming through, which is nice. We'll see if that gives us some, some cool looks. I don't get to tour too many homes as we roll into the evening. Most of the time, it's probably, it's pushing five o'clock right now. This is like the longest day I've worked in a long time. But uh, it, like here, touring homes, obviously the farm life, you know, that'll have us working clear till midnight sometimes just because we forget to, Go out and shut a gate or something but anyway uh, so i'm excited to see kind of what it looks like we'll be able to get a really good picture up front too because we won't have that shadow i always get the morning shadow but anyway beautiful dining room right here this is the formal dining room really nice light fixture right there and as you notice there's a lot of arches throughout this home i like that a lot now you do have access into um, the kitchen area over here Normally that's a butler's pantry, but in this one, it's just access into the kitchen from the dining room. It's a little bit different. But continuing down the foyer, you've got a coat closet. And then just past that, you've got the stairs going up to the second floor, as well as down to the basement. So <laughs> I think this is uh, only the second one we've toured without a basketball court. That's funny. Even the last one, the one right next door had a basketball court in it. That just boggles my mind. Into the powder room. Again, really nice color. Stonegate's really been uh, doing it up in terms of, like, it's not a typical vanity, you know? It's something a little bit different. And uh, the wallpaper, it's all looked good. All right, I'm going to try and hide the kitchen from you for just a little bit longer. We're gonna check out the living room real quick, which is still super cool. I love that too. You've got that uh, kind of arched bump out back there where the fireplace is set into it, which is pretty neat. And then on either side of that, you've got these nice built-ins. Of course, you've got the exposed beams up top and then these great big windows right here that let in a lot of light. Not so much right now. I mean, you still got a nice light, but um, right now you're not, you're not catching the sunlight through here, which you probably would do more so in the morning. But then you got this really nice fireplace surround, a little bit of a mantle down there, or hearth rather, excuse me. But then I'll go ahead and pan you back, start letting you catch a glimpse of that kitchen. And I just, I love it. Let's get into the this is like the morning room right here. 
So this is gonna be your less formal dining area. You've got some more windows looking out onto the back porch. All right, and then into the kitchen, of course, huge oversized pendant lights hanging down over the top of the island itself. You've got plenty of room for seats right here up front. I was looking for some storage, but there's not any storage on the front side of the island. That's okay, I'm not gonna ding it. And then coming around to the front side, you've got the dishwasher. I love the pools on this one. We've been seeing that quite a bit today as well. I think they just look awesome. And then you've got the undermount sink looking back out into the living room. We've got the trash can drawer right here. And then a couple more cabinets. And then as we get into the back walls with all of the cabinets, you've got double ovens, the refrigerator, and the cabinets are going all the way up to the ceiling, all the way around. And then on the back side, I love this color, just of the bottom cabinet. But you've got your range, a couple pot and pan drawers down below it. Ooh, those are nice and hefty too. And then you've got your range hood, which I like this, it's kind of trimmed out a little bit with this nice stained wood. I think that looks really good. Now what I love about this kitchen is just kind of how the countertop continues to wrap around. I think that's pretty neat. You got the built-in microwave kind of tucked away and hidden over here. You've got a beverage chiller. And then it leads into the butler's pantry. But we're gonna go ahead and get into this little parlor room real quick, little sunroom. Another nice light fixture hanging down in the middle of it. This would just be a great spot to come and retire after dinner, enjoy some, some drinks, some, you know, some conversation, some chit chattiness. A really nice spot. And then you've got access out onto uh, the back deck. I'm not gonna go too far out there but you've got the stairs going down to kind of like a walkout basement area and then you've got enough room to maybe put uh, some chairs and a table, maybe a grill if you wanted to, something along those lines. And we just got done touring that, that house right there too, that nice dark one. Ooh, I love some dark homes, but this one, I like this layout, especially with the kitchen and stuff and all the arches in this one. I just, this one's probably my favorite of the two. But anyway, then we start working, of course, into the pantry itself. So you've got floating shelves, another fun light fixture, a sink looking out into the side yard. And then through here, you've got some shelves and stuff so you can put your canned goods or whatnot. And just some extra storage. But then you have, so as we continue through, you got a little pocket door right here, but this is the mud room. So you can come straight through uh, from the garage and go into that portion of the pantry. And then you've got this whole tree right here, a little drop zone, this closet right here, which could also be additional pantry space if you wanted to. And then there's a door back behind us that I was kind of standing in, but then you could come through the garage and you have access right here to the refrigerator if you had any uh, cold items that needed to be put away. And then through this door, you come out into the garage. So you've got the single garage door, the double garage door. Electric panel, some attic access. Most every, all the utilities and stuff for the most part in all of these homes have been being stored in, in the basement. I was just thinking, man, this is night and day from Nashville, huh? Nashville, I don't think we hit one, uh, maybe, maybe there was one, but I don't think any of the homes other than that one had a basement, which is wild, and every one of them here do. But I guess it gets a lot colder here too. 
So you need extra places to go and, uh, you know, keep yourself occupied in the winter time. But then coming upstairs, there's a lot happening up here. So I guess I'll go ahead and start you over here. You got this like common space up at the top of the stairs, some more arches. I think that's just the only arch right there, but that leads into the master bedroom, I believe. You got a fun little built-in right here, which kind of separates two of the bedrooms. And then you've got this bathroom, and I think they, they would share this bathroom. So you got double vanities. And then into the water closet with the tub, fun tile surround. Almost like fish scales or mermaid scales the toilet, and then this tile floor. Check that out. That is cool looking. It's like a really sanded wood look. But then to the left and the right, I think these are almost mirror images of each other. Got the nice day bench. Looks like a step-in closet. And then on the opposite side, yeah. I think the only, oh, okay. I think the closet is the difference in the two. Still got that nice day bench right there. Good bit of light, but this closet is a lot bigger. And maybe just in terms of like how much room there is to, to walk in, I think it, the shelf is probably about the same. And then you've also got a window uh, back behind the door. All right, then back into this common area. Come to the third bedroom up here. This one sits over towards like the side of the house. Got a nice, a little bitty light fixture in here. And it has its own ensuite, so single vanity, toilet, and then a standalone shower. It's like a fun gray shower tray. And then on the opposite side, the closet. And then into the laundry room. So you got front load washer dryer, countertop, wash basin, nice cabinets. And then into the master suite. Good gracious at the size of that light fixture. Whoo! Nice big room though. And then this is another one of my favorite parts of the house is this ensuite. I just think it looks super cool looking. Especially, it's almost like, like it gives me a brick feeling uh, looking at that tub with the tile back behind it. I just love it. But uh, again, you've got like this rosy colored cabinet. And then the water closet.
Double vanity, soaking tub. Yeah, it's just kind of a cool looking tile. It looks like brick almost from the back. And then around the corner, you've got this huge shower. And then the closet. All right, so from here, we'll go ahead and work our way downstairs. Again, if you are interested in a home like this, uh, you click that link right there at the top of the description. I'm excited with this parade season in full swing. There are tons of towns. We've been trying to map out which ones we want to go to because there's a lot that kind of run together. But uh, there's definitely going to be a lot of places I've never been to, so I'm excited about that. All right, down here, again, a lot of things happening. Another fireplace. Kind of a, like a floating mantle. Another nice built-in with the arch. And it's just kind of like a fun den area. Kind of like a family hangout gathering space. Maybe perfect for a movie night. Again, you've got this kind of bar area, so secondary refrigerator, you put some drinks down here. You can put a little microwave down here, pop some popcorn. I like this light though, I think that looks really good too, with the floating shelves next to it. And then almost like a, a fun tealy color of cabinet. Then you've got another table. I mean, you could probably do a number of things right here in this space and the space I'm about to show you. So keep, start thinking about what you're going to do right here. Maybe you leave it as a table, maybe put a pool table, maybe who knows, raised bar or something like that. Then you also have access out onto uh, like a back patio or into the backyard, whatever you want to do there. And then this is currently set up like a little kid's play area. It's got the double doors coming into here. Let's see if I can close one back up and show it to you a little bit. Well, this is fun. So I went from there all the way up. I think I went into, no, I went into Illinois and then Wisconsin and over into Minnesota. That's kind of where I went to. But anyway, tons of room in here. A lot of space to do really whatever you wanted to. And a closet. So I'm sure you could put some Quite a bit of space in here too. Put some built-ins or something in here. Or just some shelves. That way you got some storage. And then on the other side of the stairs, there's also some stuff over here as well. A lot of closets and doors. You've got a full bathroom. Well, I like that shiplap color too. Kind of the same green I think we were seeing upstairs. But you got the single vanity, the toilet, and then the standalone shower. And then this is the utility room. So you've got a furnace, water filtration back there, the tankless water heater. And then we've got some understair storage. It kind of wraps around a little bit. And then into the last bedroom. And it's closet. All right, y'all let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. What are you gonna do with all these extra spaces that we were finding within this home? What do you think about this kitchen? Do you like the kitchen or would you do something a little bit different with it? I wanna hear about that uh, from you as well. 
With that though, I do hope you enjoyed the tour. I certainly did. This one was quite the surprise and I thoroughly enjoyed it. As always, my name's Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.